Trish and I am here showing you something I tried recently. Um, I saw a picture on a website or actually it was on Pinterest and it was a haircut that had gray, dark gray, purple and blue and I loved it and I wanted to try and do something similar in a sock yarn. So I also think it's kind of like Ursula the Sea Witch from The Little Mermaid. Um, it kind of reminds me of abalone, the darker kind. So um, I took some black Romney lamb and I combined it with, you can see in the, in the video, some blue and purple dyed locks from a border lester lamb and the reason i picked those is because they're all long wools so they would kind of blend better they're also kind of strong so i figured they'd make good sock yarn and then um they were all close to the same length the black is way more crimpy so it kind of created a halo uh first thing i did is just card it all together here i am using my Fancy Kitty Big Tom XL, which I'm like, we have like a thing going, um, a romantic thing. Big Tom is like my boyfriend. And I'm just, as you can see, kind of teasing the locks apart. I feel like they just seem to blend much better if I tease them really carefully. And I'm just going through using my um, Corsair drum, which is a 72 TPI, to get them all in the drum the first time. Um, I really, really like using long wools for socks, but I guess more of a word of just info. If you do this, you kind of don't get any spring in the yarn, which is fine with me, but you need to know. Uh, it's a little easier to knit a sock that has like some ribbing in it. If you need some stretch, you're probably not going to get a ton. So. It's just kind of worth noting. Um, we were laughing too. My son came in while I was doing this, and that's partly why you're not getting any audio from the video this time. He came in and was kind of making fun of the colors and saying it looked like the, the 80s, and I had to agree with him. It kind of looked a little bit like Madonna's whole first album in a bat. So that was like 83 or 84, I'm not sure. So I'm just getting my last little bit there of the purple. What I actually used was black, purple, and blue. Some of the purple was a little pink, you know how purple breaks. Um, the dye I used also was all jacquard dye for the blue and the purple. So I'm just burnishing it down. It was like super, super um, fluffy on the carter. This is less than four ounces, just a hair less, and I could barely get it all on because it was just like, it's not like commercial top where some of the crimp is gone. That crimp is just laying on top of other crimp and other crimp and it's just like, poof, right out of there. So I'm just going to take it off the first time and I'm going to let you watch this for a while, but I'm going to spin it in the video later, so I'll be back.
If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this guy. His name is Gus, aka Fatsy. We call him Fatsy with all the love in the world, but he is a wee bit short for his weight. So are we all in this house? Um, he's not happy I stopped petting him, you can tell. He's like, what? Hey, that's life, buddy. I got spinning to do. So I just finished spinning these singles up on my Ashford tra Traveler, sorry, and I used a short forward draw. Um, with the woolen prep, I thought that would make it a little stronger for socks, but also it would let the purple and the blue preserve more shine and kind of um, shine through the black in different ways as the light hit it. So that was kind of my goal there. I think it turned out pretty great. And, um, as I said, Gus wasn't super thrilled with it, but, you know, his face always looks like that, so I can't really tell if he's happy. I think he's happy. He's happy when he's eating, for sure. So, oh, there's Luther. Never far away. <laughs> When all was said and done, I ended up with 378 yards of a two-ply sock yarn. It turned out pretty much like I was hoping, although it's very hard to photograph because when the light changes, the yarn changes. But um, I love it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>